Bernardo Osuna alongside Mexican boxing legend and Hall of Famer Julio Cesar Chavez, 2015 trainer of the year Abel Sanchez, and our very own Claudia Trejos. And we want to know your predictions for Canelo Khan. Julio, who wins and why? Canel, Canelo por no count. Por su juventud, su fortaleza y su peso. Canelo wins because he's the bigger guy and he's a bigger puncher. Eventually he will catch uh, Khan with a shot, uh, but it's going to be an interesting fight. Claudia? Ooh, I second that thought. It's definitely uh, Canelo taking the best part of this fight because of his size, because I don't think Amir Khan can actually handle the speed and the pace of the fight along 12 rounds. So I think the fight is going to be stopped in the 6th, 7th round. There's consensus then on this panel that Saul Canelo Alvarez should come away with a victory. I see a late stoppage. We'll see how long Amir Khan can stick to the plan that Virgil Hunter has forged for him, but we know that he likes to exchange at certain points, and that could be crucial, a crucial mistake against a man like Saul Canelo Alvarez. The future today is in Canelo's hands, but moving forward, there's a fight that everybody wants to see, and that is against Gennady Golovkin, your charge. How confident are you that that fight will eventually happen? Well, I hope for the fans and I hope for uh, both guys. I think that's a fight that uh, makes a superstar out of one of them. Uh, the other one uh, losing is not going to set him back too far because they're two great fighters. Now, when you look at that fight and, and what would require for that to happen, right now it seems like the business of boxing wins over the love of the sport and giving the fans what they want. How do you manage giving the fans what they want and what's smart in terms of making good business? Well, for us, uh, there's no business. Uh, for us, it's uh, make the fight. Uh, Oscar and Canelo have to uh, live up to the promise they made to WBC. If they don't, uh, I, I think that Canelo loses in legacy, loses in, in reputation. Uh, but uh, eventually that fight will happen, but that's the fight that people want to see now. Hello. In your eyes, do you think it's necessary for Canelo's legacy to fight somebody like Triple G? Definitivamente es la pelea que todo que todo el mundo espera. Yo creo que el Canelo para poder eh, llegar a esa a ese nivel definitivamente tiene que pelear con Golovkin porque si no ahí va a quedar la duda. Claudia, so far Canelo has been managed very well. He's earned titles in different weight classes at age uh, of 25, okay. but people really want to see that fight that will turn him into a legend. Well, that's the difference between good fighters and great fighters, and this will definitely make him a great star. Abel Sanchez has a great star in his stable. Yes. Julio Cesar <laughs> Chavez was a legend in and of his own, and so are you, Claudia. It's and been a pleasure. Thank you. Until next time, <laughs> I'm Bernardo Sun.